Josh Adams uh, with Southeast Farmers Co-op here in Burbank, South Dakota. We run a 13,500 ton shed, a full chemical and full seed operation. My position of this uh, location is an agronomy manager. We manage about self-propelled fertilizer and chemical machines from spreading to chemical. And off of that, you know, we just take the orders from a grower. Grower will call us and we'll start from seed take their seed order, distribute the seed to the grower. And when they start planting is when the machines start rolling. If it's on the dry side, we'll go before the planter and we'll spread. And on the chem side, we'll follow the planter, put the pre and fertilizer out. Um, we started off dry going into winter. Winter's been open, so I can see unless we start getting moisture, but the spring will, will go pretty smooth and pretty quick. We could actually use a couple inches of rain, but on a on a dry year, it usually goes pretty fast. And then on a wet year, you know, it can stretch it out, to, you know, from two weeks to a six weeks process. But every year is a different year, and it's going to be a different approach. And never one day is the same, and never one year is the same. Uh, we just take it as how the weather affects us or the growing conditions, and we just have to to relate to that and move on from there. When I first started 15 years ago, we were dealing with, uh, you know, eight to 12 row planters. Now we're to 16 to 24 row planters. And now we're 16 to 24 high speed planters, which is from five miles an hour to, to nine miles an hour planting. For on the fertilizer side, it would be 45 minutes to load a truck. Now we're down to three to four minutes to load a truck. So we can travel a lot more on the interstate. We can get that distance. And we just have to do that to keep up to the production of the grower. Growers aren't getting uh, smaller, they're getting larger. When the growers grow, we have to grow as well. When I first started, it was always spring. Springs, I would say 70% of your fertilizer to maybe even 80% of the fertilizer went out in the spring. Over the years, we started transitioning where we started doing a lot of fall work. And fall here for our location, is busy because we handle grain and, and fertilizer. We're a full service uh, co-op. So you stretch out employees when you gotta do grain and fertilizer. As uh, far as strictly agronomy, we start off in the spring. So it's a two to four week period where we're busy running machines. We're gonna take a two week period off. And then that's where we're gonna start spraying the second post application of, of spraying. Sometimes on these fields with fertilizer, we're going over them four times. We're doing one application in the fall. We do one right after or before planting, and then we'll do one or two as the growing season goes. So we'll start with corn this high, you know, all the way out to head high where we're spreading nitrogen over it. So the whole agronomy season is basically for us, April to about the middle of July. Um, and then once harvest starts, then we'll move into fall fertilizer. And I would say from the very beginning, first part of September, all the way till December. And if it's an open winter, I mean, we'll spread every month. 